good morning welcome back in your previous class how are you all children are you all fine yes very good i'm also fine and i'm and again i'm came back with you with a new video with a new chapter to begin this in this video okay so i hope you all are fine right yes you all are fine okay so now children you know that uh, today i have come with a new video and with a new chapter so do you think or do you can tell me anyone that which chapter we are going to start today in this video come on tell me yes very correct a new chapter today uh, in this video i'm going to start chapter number 7 okay chapter number 7 and this is the first video of chapter number 7 okay so before starting this chapter before beginning this chapter i am going to say that already we have done till chapter number 6 water in the previous video and today i am going to start a very new chapter but i will not tell you the chapter name now children you all will guess what is the name of the chapter but uh, by guessing the name of the chapter i will give you some clues okay so are you all ready come on sit near the camera and listen to my things what i'm going to explain and tell you okay for uh, and after guessing it you will come to know what is the name of the chapter yes okay let's begin so children um uh, today i am going to talk about a very new thing and this thing is very important for us very important for us like water this thing is also very important for us can any guesses no okay some clues when you go out in a uh, windy day okay when you go out in a windy day what do you feel uh, in your skin and what do you feel what do you can see in your hair uh, hair go, comes on yes you feel very airy na yes the wind blows when you go outside in the windy days so what is that wind call that moving wind yes air correct when you standing when you are feeling very hot when you come out when in a hot summer season when you go out for any work and when you come back to your home what do you feel to have fan right the so what the fan gives us air correct so children the name of the topic which we are going to study today is air air is our seventh chapter and this is the first video of chapter number 7 air okay so can anyone tell me what is air what is air can anyone tell me all right let me give a clue okay let me give a clue there is air all around us okay all around there is air all living things need air to live without air we cannot live okay so air is present all around us and without air we cannot live okay children so they are thinking you are thinking that where is air you are thinking now where is air i cannot see any air is it hiding somewhere no it is not hiding children then where are you air you were thinking where are you air air is everywhere air is everywhere it fills your house it fills your cars it fills the empty glass yes it fills your house it fills your cars and it fills your empty glass okay so you cannot see the air children listen very carefully you cannot see the air but you can feel the air yes you cannot see or touch the air but you can feel the air how you will feel the air with the skin you will feel the air with the skin so let me give me oh, let you uh, let me give me some examples of air so that you can understand very easily okay now everyone will do with me everyone will do with me what i'm telling you to do okay come on everyone this hand keep it in front of your mouth come on everyone keep the hand in front of your mouth like this how i have kept and now you blow the air blow uh now you blow on the hand 
You blow it like this. How I am doing? Keep the hand in front of your mouth and you blow on your hand. Do you observe something? What you have observed? Tell me. You can feel the air from the mouth on your hand. Yes, you can do it. You will try again and again. Keep the hand on your mouth and then blow it. You can observe the air coming out from the mouth on your hand. Yes, this is the example of air. One more example children. If there is a working table fan. You know not table fan? If there is a working table fan, you have on the fan and you are standing in front of a fan. What do you observe? How do you feel? You will feel that you are getting air from the fan on your face. Right? When you are keeping a table fan in front of you and you own that fan, what will you observe or what do you feel? You will feel that the air is coming and you are getting on your face. So that is air. Okay? The next example is that if you take a hand fan. See? This is a hand fan. Yes. All of you now having a hand fan. So if I am taking this hand fan in front of me and I am feeling very hot and there is no electricity. There is no electricity children. Okay? So if I am feeling very hot. So what I will uh, take or what I will do to get air? I will, yes, yes children, I will, I will hand, I will fan out myself to get the air, I will fan myself to get the air, okay. So, children, I want to say that air is all around us, without air we cannot live, all human beings, all human beings, like birds, animals, bees, Okay, human beings, plants and, and all the uh, living things need air. We cannot live without air. Air is very, very, very important for us. Yes, air is very important for us. Listen children, all living things need air to breathe. In fact, we human beings also need air to breathe. And they all breathe in and they all breathe out. Yes, we all breathe in and we all breathe out. You all do not come on, do with me. You are breathing in and breathing out. So, for how you are doing this? With the help of the air. We all are with the, doing with the air. Okay, now children. I want to say that all living things need air. So, I am going to say that when you are going out, when you are going out on the hot day, on a summer day and when you are coming back at home, you if you on the fan, what do you will get? What do you feel? You will feel the fresh air from the fan. You will get very cool air. Yes, you will get very cool air from the fan. And you will also feel sleepy. Yes, you also feel sleepy that I am getting so fresh air and I want to sleep. Yes, so now. Uh, and you can feel the air from the skin. How you will feel it? You will feel this air from with the help of the skin. So, and now what happens children? When you stand out in a windy day. Have you all gone out on the windy day? Yes. So when you are going out on the windy day, what do you observe or what do you find? That the wind blows. Yes, the wind blows and your hairs are, uh, the hairs are also uh, blows with the, with the wind. When you are running here and there, the hairs also uh, blowing with the, uh, from, with the uh, wind. Okay, and that is all air. The, the wind blows your air. The wind blows your hair when you are running here and there on the windy day. Okay? So, are you getting my point that what is air? Air is all around us. All living things need air. And children, 
have you observed that on the windy day when there is a lot of wind outside the house the bushes of the trees are also swaying as the wind blows have you seen that yes i have seen have you all seen that what you have seen that the bushes of the trees are also swaying as the wind blows yes and that's right why it happens because the wind is the air that moves all around because the wind is wind is air that moves around well wind is the only air that moving all around okay so we uh, so the finally the what i'm going to say is that we cannot see air we cannot touch the air but we can feel the air with the help of our skin we can feel the air if you're sitting in the air conditioned room and the air condition is giving you a which air hot or cool air cool air so what do you feel how you will feel it with the skin because it's giving you cool air and when you are going out or moving on a in a car you want to go somewhere when you moving in a car and you put your head uh, near the window when the car is moving what do you observe that the air is also moving the air is coming on your face and the hair is also moving with the help of the air yes so air is all around us all living things need air we cannot live without air children like water air is also very important for us have you got my point now come on everyone take out your evs course book we will have a read from the chapter and also you will take out be ready with your evs copy for the class work as well as the i hope everyone has opened page 89 chapter number 15 air around us so we'll read from the book just see air around us air is all over all around us we cannot see air we can only feel it when it moves it can be felt when when we switch on the fan we feel air yes we are on the swing we feel air when we run we feel air and also just see here moving air is called wind when the air blows we it is called wind a light and gentle wind is called a breeze a fast and strong wind is called a storm so just see in this picture the moving air is there so it's called a wind and when the fast and strong wind is there you can see all are moving here and there that is called a storm and the light and gentle wind is called a breeze clear now see this get set go what is the boy filling in the balloon see this picture the boy is blowing balloon but what he is filling inside the balloon air yes so right here air clear now take out your evs copy we will do the class work from the in the copy put the today's date chapter 15 air around us the class work answer in one two words number 1 where is air answer all around us you have to only write the answer in one two words okay number 2 why do we need air answer to live and breathe number 3 do plants and animals also need air obviously yes they also need air because they are also human beings they are also living things okay human beings living things all living things need air number 4 where is air present air is present everywhere okay so write this copies okay in the copy and be and be in the be write in the copy nicely okay now moving with the homework fill in the blanks moving air is called dash you have to write it either wind or snow number 2 gentle wind is called dash storm or breeze and the third one a fast and strong wind is called storm or wind so you will do this homework in the copy and also do this class work in the copy all the students should write in the very nice handwriting Okay children we will meet in the next video till then bye bye